fire sign, sun, moon, rising, and fire sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. How you guys doing, y'all? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. It's just your girl, Spiritual Black, coming in YouTube land. I hope all is well with you and your crew. Okay. Um, this video will be for who or what is coming towards you for the rest of February. Okay. It's gonna be a person that's coming towards you with that BS. It could be a job that's coming towards you. It could be your own emotions, shit that you need to let go in order to get better. You feel me? Do not forget this is still the Mercury retrograde. I forgot. I need to be telling people that at the end of the day. But yes, it's definitely the Mercury retrograde. I think it ends February the 20th. I'm not sure, okay? But it's still going to be, we're going to have a pre-shadow energy or whatever you want to call it um, that will be out of our system, I think, March the 13th, okay? So watch out for your own emotions. Continue to protect your energy, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, all right? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and a little bit of Mercury, okay? Once again, this is your girl, Spiritual Black, okay? Um, I have some things I want to tell y'all. I have a competition that's going on right now. Your girl is almost at 100 subscribers, okay? Um, So the competition is once I reach 100 subscribers, 100 subscribers i want to do two free 30 minute readings okay of your choice it could be a love reading it could be a general reading it could be about your person it could be about your money whatever you want it to be about okay but uh this is your girl just trying to gain more content more people to her platform you know what i'm saying y'all already know i'm real and i'm 100 you feel me so uh let's get it cracking you feel me the first two people that comment after I get my 100 subscribers, the comments on my YouTube channels, I got y'all, okay? 30-minute readings of your choice, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, okay? Let's see who's coming towards y'all. Who or what is coming towards y'all in the month of February or the rest of the month because you already know. February is almost over. It's here and there. You feel me? That's too many. But I definitely seem like a new kid. <laughs> I'll take this, the justice card. Mm. So justice is being the truth. Somebody's coming to tell you the truth. Maybe somebody want to apologize. Somebody's wanting to talk. It could be a legal situation. Um, I wanted to tell y'all, I'm sorry, I forgot to announce that your girl got a new turret deck. It is called the True Heart Intuitive Turret Deck. It is by Rachel True, okay? I've been showing everybody else, so I feel like I should be kind, cool, and collected and show you guys. Oops, wrong part. This is the girl that made up the turd deck, okay? I don't know if you guys watch UPN or half and half that was on UPN, my bad. Um, but yeah, she was on there, honey, and she was a very good actress. I really, really liked her. Uh, always been kind of witchy and weird to me, you feel me? But who who would have known that she came up with a turd deck? I never knew. So uh, yeah, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, who or what is coming towards them in the rest of February, for the rest of February, what they need to know, Spirit, like I said, this could be a relationship, this could be a job, somebody's on that bullshit, a friend, you feel me, a cousin, take what resonates, these cards be flying now. Mm, somebody's needing to gain mental clarity, somebody could be coming to you and not being all the way real, that's what I just heard. Leo Sagittarius and Aries. And um, I wanted to tell y'all, your girl went back to doing the uh, elements until I can pick back on doing all the signs. Because, honey, that was very energy draining and it took a lot of time to do it. Um, prioritizing my time. Tried to do too much, you feel me? And had to just reel myself back in to where, you know, I felt comfortable at. And I feel comfortable right now doing the elements, okay? Um, I even felt comfortable to where I'm doing the elements to where I can open myself back up to do uh, personal readings because at first baby I couldn't do personal readings and do all those readings at once I'm not even gonna lie to y'all Leo Sagittarius and Aries I'm not gonna lie so spirit who or what is coming towards them in the month of February who is what who what mm, guys are getting over a heartbreak you guys can still be going through a heartbreak. Spirit say pull them. Mm. Avoiding a transformation. Not speaking up for yourself. Give me one more card for the Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and 
Venus and a little bit of Mercury spirit. Give me one more card for them, for who or what is coming towards them in the month of February. And then they give it to me. Thank you, spirit. Trying to find balance is what I just heard. Ha! Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. Wow. Sagittarius, that's y'all card. The temperance cards. And once again, I just said found in balance. So you got the two of pinnacles. That's the two of this. But that's the reason why I said trying to find balance. Um, but yes, balance, uh, having hope at the end of the day. You feel me? Being positive, remaining positive. Uh, it could be somebody that's coming towards you. It could be this energy that's coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? That, I feel like I said that twice. This could be somebody's coming towards you, or this could be the energy that's coming towards you. I'm a little cold, y'all. I feel like my ancestors and my spur grads is around me, okay? I don't know what's going on. I ain't... Okay, but the overall message for this reading, once again, is the temperance card. Found in balance, peace, clarity, you know what I'm saying? Happiness, you feel me? The first card you guys got, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a little bit of Mercury. Let me go ahead and throw it out there, too. You feel me? If this video don't resonate with y'all, I told y'all y'all have other placements. If you need help to figure out how your placements work or whatever your placements is or what placements is what, you feel me? Reach out to your girl, Deronda15 at gmail.com, okay? I'm here to help. That's all I'm saying. But, uh... Check out the other videos, you know, because this video might not make sense, but your moon sign might make sense. You feel me? And they are uploaded, so don't do me, okay? Especially your little bit of last week to this week. The energy is still within. It's nothing different. Uh, <laughs> my readings are not time-consuming, okay? I guess it's not time-stamped. I guess that's what you want to say. Like, whatever flows will go. You feel me? Whatever you take will be for you but the justice cards leo sagittarius and aries okay what i say gaining some truth at the end of the day you feel me somebody's keeping it real with you it could be within the justice system we notice in the upright you know what i'm saying gaining clarity for yourself it's persons wanting to come and set some justice with you you know next you guys got the five of swords in the reverse um this could be you guys coming out of mental conflict um playing mind tricks over yourself you feel me and this is also low vibrational energy what i've been doing for the other readings or even on myself i'm still studying my book okay i ain't even gonna lie to y'all i'm gonna be real and i'm gonna let y'all know because uh there's different um there is different meanings when it comes to these cards so i need to make sure that i'm right when it comes to my readings i don't want to just be lying to y'all you feel me but low vibrational so yeah somebody could be or this could be you what's coming towards you your energy so it's struggle bitterness pettiness uh cruelty fighting defensiveness wow <laughs> so maybe somebody's wanting to come to argue with you i don't know take what resonates leo sagittarius and aries someone rising venus and a little bit of mercury what's up oh you took my hat you want my hat today uh so uh leo sagittarius and aries the next card you guys have is the three of swords and the reverse i'm i'm gonna go to my book again but this is the three of swords what i've learned is in the reverse is low vibrational energy but i also look it could be positive too you feel me but i don't want a lot of y'all that's why I'm like, it's good to go. But I think it's also good to clarify them too. You know what I'm saying? Just to be all the way 100. Because, hey, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Yeah, so disappointment, pain, heartbroke, loss, stagnation, limerness. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, yeah, rejection. You guys could be feeling rejected at the end of the day. Um, once again, like say if you was going through a heartbreak or somebody that's coming towards you was going through a heartbreak, you feel me? They are still probably feeling rejected. They're probably still going through that heartbreak. You're probably still going through that heartbreak. It doesn't even have to just be about a person. It could be a job, place, person, thing. Take what resonates. The Queen of Swords in the reverse. Uh, not gaining the mental clarity. Not speaking up for yourself at the end of the day. You feel me? Um hell not telling the truth within yourself you feel me hey the death card in the reverse it's a scorpio energy but this is like uh i guess you could say dodging the bullet i wouldn't even say dodging the bullet but 
Because dodging a bullet to me in my ass is a good thing. But it could be when it comes to spirituality. No. You don't need to be dodging anything. You need to be taking everything head on. If you can't take the heat, stay at the damn kitchen. Okay? But the death card in the reverse is like you guys are avoiding uh, a transformation. Like you guys are like scared to change or something. I mean, this could be somebody that's coming towards you. You feel me? Uh, the two of pentacles once again trying to find balance uh, as you see it's two people that is trying to balance themselves on this string you feel me and I, I don't know it might be her within herself take what resonates but it looks like it's two different people but it also looks like within herself this could be you trying to balance out your foundation um balance out your finances your stability you know what i'm saying just balance within yourself you feel me Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, Sagittarius, and Aries. My bad, because once again, I said, look, y'all got the tower. And that was in the reverse, too. Let me see. We're going to clarify them. So you guys know I'm always using the modern witch her deck. You feel me? But hey, now your girl got a new deck. I'm able to clarify them, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if the content fits for you. Don't forget about the little competition that we got going on, too. Once I reach my 100 subscribers, the first two people that comment on my videos, any videos that I put, you feel me? The ones that I upload, not, that's not already on, but the ones that I upload, you guys will get you a free 30-minute reading of your choice, okay? So, let's clarify. What's this justice card for the Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I seen something flip. Mmm. Ask y'all some gaining some type of justice, some type of clarity or something, some type of truth from um, a Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It could be within yourself. Maybe you guys had to face the facts of you're fucked up. No, I'm just playing. Maybe you guys have to face some things. You know what I'm saying? Face your fears. That's what I just heard. Um, but this could be somebody else wanting to come to you and, like I said, gain, give you some type of truth, want to apologize. You feel me? They're wanting to take action. Okay, you're wanting to take action. You feel me? That is y'all energy at the end of the day. What's this five of swords in the reverse for the fire signs? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Nope, that's two. Give me one. These cards are slippery too. It's five of swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody, somebody's coming in, try to play mind games and. Pull the wool over your eyes, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. When it comes to your foundation, this could be a commitment, merge, whatever, you feel me? But we know the 11-11 card has to do with love, you know, um, the equal give and take of everything. The mind, body, and soul, you feel me? Um, the Five of Swords, yeah, it could, it, it, it could also be your foundation, too, because I know when it comes to... My reversals and how I put them, I also made them for myself. You know what I'm saying? But it could be like, why did I just he hear the word selfish? I don't know. Like maybe either you or this person or whatever the situation may be is, is being real selfish. And maybe this has to do with your foundation. You know, you working towards something. You know what I'm saying? Take what resonates. What's the three of swords for your fire signs? Leo Sagittarius and Aries. What's this three of swords? Yeah, you guys. So once again, I say you guys are um, probably could have been rejected. You guys are coming out of his heartbreak or whatever. And to clarify, you guys got the eight of swords in the reverse. So uh, this is mental clarity coming to you. This is mental satisfaction coming to you because you're not going to be trapped in your thoughts no more whatever the truth or the justice or whatever was given to you you feel me it could have been about your foundation it could have been about anything you know you now that you know the truth you don't have to be confused no more you don't have to be playing tricks on yourself you feel me like having you all fucked up and trapped all in your brain why 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 leo sagittarius and aries and a, uh i feel say a little bit of mercury look these cards are spinning What's this Queen of Swords? Wow. So the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So maybe once again I say speaking your truth. You feel me? Um needing to gain some type of knowledge. Needing I said knowledge. Maybe it could be it too. Uh, about your foundation. So maybe you you needing to gain some news. Or like say you're trying to move or something and and it's uh it's it's a specific place that you want to live at or move to or whatever you don't know a lot about like the area you know what i'm saying so maybe this could be um 
gaining some type of clarity or something but i know once again it's about your 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 family you feel me um need to speak up for yourself maybe when it comes to your family maybe your family and shit's getting on your nerves leo sagittarius and aries and on i want to say leo sagittarius and aries and a little bit of mercury sun moon rising and venus and a little bit of mercury okay um yeah like needing to speak up for yourself being ten toes down with what comes at your mouth you feel me like we already know y'all y'all fire signs so y'all always taking action at the end of the day but now it's time to bring in that mental you feel me that intellect like yeah you could do all of that shit but you need to talk that's what i've learned about fire signs like they're really not good communicators but they would do whatever and you'd be like well damn if you would have just asked me then i couldn't be mad you know what i'm saying like <laughs> if you would have just asked me if you just spoke the fuck up instead of like oh well i thought okay well who pays you to thank fire signs maybe you guys need to speak up speak up like how you how you expect somebody to listen to you and you ain't even talking just saying i'm making a lot of moves though <laughs> and that could be what it is too you feel me y'all making moves in silence my be like ah oh my gosh fire signs don't never tell us their next moves what's this death card in the reverse yeah 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 i'm not even gonna take this here but i feel like you wanted me to take so you guys could be dealing with somebody from your past. You guys could be thinking about somebody um, <clears throat> that had hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I definitely take it as you guys are not trying to end something with somebody that's like, that's not good with their money. You feel me? They are irresponsible. Uh, this could be somebody that's coming towards you this way. This could be your energy. You feel me? Like this is what's coming towards you in the midst of you not knowing like, say what happened yesterday, you knew what happened yesterday, but you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen next week. So I'm here to let you know. You feel me? This could be you, what's coming towards you. This could be somebody that's coming towards you with this bullshit. Somebody's missing you from your past, maybe. You feel me? Um, something, or I didn't mean something, but somebody that didn't want it to end. You feel me? Uh, but I take it as Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You guys are not trying to end something with somebody. You feel me? Um, and it's somebody from your past. It it could be like these these people, or it could be your energy as well. You feel me? Something that you don't want to leave alone that's in your past. Something that's no longer serving you. Something that you need to let go. It could be fucking with your finances. It could be making you feel uh, unstable at the end of the day, where you're not really good right now. Okay, like your money's really funky. You feel me? Uh, your stability is all out of whack. You feel me? Take what resonates. Take what resonates. Take what resonates. What's this two of this for the fire signs? Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Look, you got the Ten of Cups and it kind of came out sideways. But I definitely feel like, yeah, you guys are trying to gain balance. And that's probably why I came out sideways because you guys are trying to gain balance. You feel me? So it's kind of like, it's like the Wheel of Fortune. Like maybe you guys are like at the side of it. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, like the two of pentacles, balance, you know, trying to find that that's silver lining. That's what I just heard. You feel me at the end of that rainbow. You feel me? Um, the ten of pentacles, that is the house, the car, the keys, the dogs, everything. Your stability, your wealth, your health, you feel me, your wife, you know, your husband, your kids. Did I already say that? Okay. Um, trying to find balance. And this could be you, you know, over the next couple of days or whatever. This could be somebody wanting to come in and find balance with you. You feel me? Take what resonates. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And a little bit of Mercury. This is your girl, Spurshy Black. Come to YouTube land. Oh. Taking fucking action. This was the overall message for the modern witch turn. I forgot to pull it for y'all. This is a risk taker, okay? The Emperor, this is the Aries card as well. Look at y'all all and y'all read it. I love it, okay? But this is you guys taking energy on what is best for y'all. You feel me? This could be within a relationship. This could be somebody wanting to come in. This could be an Aries that's wanting to come in and take action with y'all. Take what resonates, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if the content fits for you, okay? Continue to keep glowing, growing, moving, grooving, okay? Peace on to you. I'm out.